come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekend. Cats can't see me. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, this mm -hmm. one I've been waiting on for quite some time, okay? <laughs> um, I don't know if you, you, if you watch this, you watch me, so you know what I do. I love talking to the up and coming artists and the ones that I watch and I pay attention. This young lady I've been watching for, I mean, it sounds stalkerish to say I've been watching her for like four years, <laughs> but she's, you could feel her through the screen of your phone. She has this ferocity about her. And the minute I saw it, I was like, yo, I need her on the show. I mean, granted to say she ain't come, you know, it's four years later, <laughs> but we got her. Billy B's in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what's up, guys? <laughs> How you been, bro? I'm good. I'm I've chilling. been watching you, son. <laughs> you went to LA for a minute? Yeah. How was that? I loved it. I loved LA. It was so beautiful. I liked the production out there. Mm -hmm. So I was back and forth for some time. But yeah, I loved it. I, I've got to get out my emotions mm -hmm. that you haven't come to see me. I could have sworn so that we set up something and then you took you had somebody else come up here. Lies.com, don't do me like that. I could have sworn don't do that me like that's that. what that's what happened. I could have sworn. If I recollect correctly. Did I? Yeah. Shit. You set a date and everything. Then I just see somebody else pop up. I'm about to check my DMs. Then we gonna yeah. see. Cause now, I, now I'm. See? That's what happens when I talk too much. Okay, Billy, I'm sorry. <laughs> so where you grew up at? Brooklyn. Yeah, East New York. Do Cypress Hills Project. Do you feel it shaped who you are right now? Of course. And and in what ways? In every way, like the mentality, the everything, like in every way. Honestly, it just it just made me who I am. It kept, um, you know. I just get all my mom, everything from it. Damn, it's hard to explain, but it's just everything. Like, it shaped me in every way. Brooklyn has a connotation about being tough. Mm -hmm. Would that be true? Yeah. Do you feel <laughs> your your rap style and, and your persona fits that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Definitely. <laughs> talk to me about the process of how you do your music. Because like I said in, in, in the intro, I could feel you through the screen. Yeah. Like, you could tell she feels her bar. So give me the process behind what you do to put music out. Um, well, it's all a vibe for me. Like, I got to be in the mood. Like, I I don't know. Some people, like, they like, oh, I, I make music every day. That's not really me. I got to be, like, in the right mood. Then depending on what I want to talk about, depending on what kind of beats I get. Sometimes I'm not in the mood at all, but then I hear certain beats and it's just like, oh, nah, I got it. <laughs> I'm on this. <laughs> like, I'm on this. So it's just, it all depends on, like, the vibe, honestly, the beat. And then I go in. I just moved into my new house, so my old apartment, I used to go in my bathroom and write. Like, that was, like, my little sanctuary. <laughs> oh, see, I got kids. That's my sanctuary. My yeah. bathroom, listen. <laughs> I think that's what it was. So oh, yeah, my, it's, you yeah, see. Yeah, my son listen, is too. that's the one place they don't bother me. <laughs> it's true. That's a fact. So I would go in there. And that's where I would like create, just just get in the mirror and just let loose and create. Mm. But now that I moved, I gotta find a new spot in the house to really lock in. So I've been writing in my car lately. You you find your way back to the bathroom. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You will. You, you if you got kids, you'll find your way back to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> now new, the 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 music scene in New York is is to me it feels like it's very vibrant. Mm -hmm. You're you're very immersed in that scene. How do you feel music is in the city? Because we got to talk about this is what New York sounds like. You're definitely a part of what New York sounds like. Yeah. How do you feel about being a part of this New York sound that's bubbling now? I'm, I'm happy. I've been doing this for a long time. So I'm just happy that it's all coming, you know, it's all coming together and we just shining. I feel like New York is kind of getting, you know, it's, it's a more modern sound, but... We getting our little sound back. Mm -hmm. Like we we claim we came back and claimed our little genre and doing what we do. So, I like that for the city. Who are some of the artists that you look up to that that, that inspire you rather? Um, Nicki Minaj, Missy Elliott. Um, well, I came up like listening to like Dipset and okay, yeah, okay. I was like right. a heavy Dipset fan. And which who was your like favorite that. Dipset member? I would probably say it's between. I would have to say Jim because uh, I know more. I, I, in my head, I was like, she's about to tell me Jewels. Nah, <laughs> I would have to say Jim. I know more of Jim's like music and stuff because it was like a point when I was in school, like we used to OD bump Jim. Like, yeah, the product of my environment. Was yeah. Like, yeah, so I feel like there was a moment in time where Dipset represented New York harder than anybody else. Like mm -hmm. their 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 vibe. Not the music was the music, but mm -hmm. their vibe, the way they dressed, the way they talked was just yeah, so New York. They had the swag. It was yeah. like they were like 
rappers like like I don't know, you know how they be like, okay, your rapper started kid. Like Dipset had it <laughs> yeah. all. Like they had it all down packed. Or they had the bars. They had the look. They had the swag. It was just everything. So I kind of like I like that. And I used to hang out uptown a lot. Even though I was from Brooklyn, my mom used to be like, go everywhere. Like don't just stay in Brooklyn. Like go everywhere. So I used to go uptown. I used to go to the Bronx. I used to go everywhere. So I kind of like embodied all of that. Okay, so besides for Brooklyn, because if I ask you your favorite part of New York, you're gonna tell me where you're from, obviously. <laughs> but besides for Brooklyn and all your travels across the city, which what's your favorite part and why? Um, I have to say Soho is my favorite part in New York. Oh, you fancy? <laughs> nah, Soho is just like it's like a middle ground. It's like you know, fashion. It's everything all mixed in one. It's like the big mixing pot, mixing pot of the city. So. Mm. I used to hang out in Soho a lot. I ended up going to school out there. Like, my last school that I went to was out there. So I used hold to... On, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, mm-hmm. now we're about to delve into the past. <laughs> schools? How many schools yeah. have you attended? I went to, like, five, four or five. You was school. bad? Yeah, you know, getting kicked out, getting... It was fighting. You was fighting? Yeah, I was fighting a lot. Okay. Fighting, just... I always would get kicked out. They Did, fucking... <laughs> what, what, what was your go-to move? Did you pull the hair first or were you with the bop first? It depends. I'm doing whatever. <laughs> I fight dirty. I don't give a fuck. What I'm going to do whatever. If I got to pick up a chair, whatever. Like, I'm doing whatever. It Billy's don't... with the shit. <laughs> <laughs> you better not. You we better street not. Street fighting. And we jumping niggas, too. They but all that shit. Like, that's what we was on. So. I told you Brooklyn's tough. I told you. <laughs> okay. So now, what's next for you musically? What, what are we working on? Because we, um, we, we know that, well, I, I, I was I was privyed to some information about you and Janelle had some heat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Shout talk to, to me Janelle. musically what you got working I mean, on. Janelle, why, why am I saying? I'm letting you pronounce I, I said Janelle. I'm sorry, Janelle. I'm sorry, he, Janelle. He be like, my, my name bad. is Janelle. Ja- Don't forget Nell. the Ja. My bad. Right? Yeah, we got some We got some heat in the tug. I'm just building my catalog right now, trying to just stay ready so I don't got to get ready whenever it's time to drop that tape or drop whatever we... I just want to make sure I have good quality music on hand so that's what I'm working on I I really don't want to tell people what I'm really working on because ooh child I'm tired of this why did he do this to me fast everybody <laughs> told me I, I can't tell you but I got because, something because though the fans they would be like okay well on what's today February like <laughs> you said that you were dropping such and such and I've been waiting they put you on this countdown and, and it's like damn like and I start feeling the pressure even though you can't make them put you under pressure but I start feeling it because it's like you should have never said nothing so <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's how that goes. Give me your f- top five favorite rappers, dead or alive. Oh man, you know I'm. You a spitter, God? You this shouldn't be hard. Nah, for you. I, it's not hard at all. It's just, you know, some people have people that they like idolize and stuff like that. I always looked. I always knew I was going to be like somebody. So I would be. I will be inspired by people and stuff. But I never had like a favorite. Like oh my God, this is my all time favorite. I like certain things from certain people, but um. Like the only person I could really say favorite, especially uh, like in the female hip hop, is Nicki. Like I, I was like OD Nicki fan. Like I can't. Like she kind of like. Have you met was, Nicki yet? No, I haven't met. Nicki What would be yet. the first thing you say to Nicki? You mean? I don't even know. I would <laughs> ask her some personal ass questions. Like, like what? Girl, like how you be like? <laughs> 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 it be stuff like like when you performing and you and you got your cycle. Like how you be like you know what wow! stuff like that. No, because only she, the, only know, a female would only ask that fe- question. Yeah, that's hot. Like how Listen, you like how you be getting through? Like you know. And Nikki, I want an answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's fire. Yeah, I've never thought I've about never that. Thought about that you know? like, those are things. Crazy. Those are real things that only a person like her would like. You know, like. I can't ask another person. Like, you don't know. You don't perform. <laughs> like, you know, so it's stuff like that that I would ask. Like, how you deal with certain things, like certain stuff like that. Like, But you talk about wanting to make and put together a good body of work for the EP or, or the album, whatever, drop mm-hmm. But all these freestyles you drop is fucking fire. Yeah, I'm, I hate freestyling. But everyone's <laughs> fire. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I... Uh, I you should uh, stop the freestyling and put that on the album. Yeah, I mean, sh- I, if y'all would stop asking me to freestyle, maybe I could get to record the goddamn things and put them out. But, you know, I don't know. New York City loves a freestyle, yeah. Oh, but, um... Home of yeah. the spinners, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, 
I got some stuff. I've been doing music for a long time, so it's some stuff that y'all never even heard that's like, oh, if you was to hear this, child. I'm gonna turn the mic off so I can ask for bars, because if I do it on camera, she's like, yeah, no way. <laughs> um, listen, I've had you long enough. I know you're tired, you gotta get home. Um, <laughs> anything else you wanna talk about before I let you go? Um, my new single, Big Brooklyn, is on the Big way. Big Brooklyn. Yeah, we just shot the video, so hopefully within like the next week or so, it'll be out, because people have been like, "Why? what is the hold up? Why are you just teasing us with this song and I'm putting it out? So the full version will be out, I'm hopefully next week, God willing. Yeah. I'm going to repost it. Big Brooklyn, Big Brooklyn, Big Brooklyn all day. Like That's what we're doing right now, so that's going to be good. Fuck with that. That's really it. Follow me on everything, TAC, Billy B, you know <laughs> Make sure y'all tapping in and y'all tuning in because I got a lot in store. I got a lot in store. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Billy B, I appreciate you, God. Thank and you. And this better not be the last time. No, it's not. I promise. There I it goes. Promise. It's the sit down. Well, Billy. you got to make sure you, 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 yeah, you'll curve me again for the other girls. You know how they be doing. Come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekend. Cats can't see me.